In this video guys I'll show you how to create your handle for the barbecue and how to place it. The only thing I don't show you is how to tack it on and weld it. I think I'm going to do a separate video showing how to tack that on and how to weld off the rest of the frame. So for now let's just focus on the size and the placement. So with the handle the only thing we know is that it's 250 by 12 mil mild steel bar and there's one required. So um we can see that there. I've taken some other photos while I was in the workshop today. And I might start off with this here. That's me just marking it out. I've used the verniers to, to guarantee that it's 12mm bar when I've put it out of the rack. And the only photo I didn't have is that I cut it using the horizontal fan saw. Um, so you'll need that for your write up as well. And I've then filed off any burrs using a plastered file and that just helps with measuring and um, and placing it into the uh, bar bender. Uh, also helps a little bit with welding. You've got a nice flat surface and there's no burrs or anything. So <clears throat> what I'll do now is we'll cross over this little video that I've made and um, that should be enough for you to see how it's made what's required, what tools required, and then you can do your own. And I think it was 250mm, uh, but what the plan doesn't tell you is where this bend happens. Now, I know that it's a bit hard to show you guys on here, but it's, it's pretty much a 40mm offset in, in between here. And so to get that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my bend at 40 mil on, on both sides. Now it's really critical that I find a, um, a way to, to get a very repeatable bend. So even if it comes out at 41 or 39, I want to be able to duplicate that bend every time, that bend every time so that this handle runs parallel to the barbecue plate and it's not sitting on an angle. Uh, I'll just chuck my iPad into our little tripod and I'll see if I can show you this without making you seasick. So um, what I've done is I've measured 40 mil down and I've put a black mark there. Now, placing that into our bender, once again, guys, you're going to have to bear with me. It's pretty hard to see, but I'm lining up that black mark with the edge of my lip here. Now, it just so happens that um, our machine has a little stop at the back here that we can adjust and slide forwards, but it doesn't really suit the bend that we're doing because that we're doing because there's only 40 mil going into the machine. I could stick a piece of scrap that was, this is 12 mil bar, I could have put a bit of 10 in there as a, as a stop, but it doesn't grip the material well enough. So we're going to do the 40 mil with the bend on, on the right hand side of this machine and if I was doing mass production of this okay I would make a little stopper that I can just slide into there to get 15 mil each time if I was doing this over and over again repeated in industry I'd have a little 15 mil stopper so I'm not measuring I'm just butting it into there and locking it off you've only got to do two bends so what you're going to do is you can Instead of measuring your 40 and trying to line it up each way, I can get a really good measurement here if I'm looking and I get my 15 mil on a ruler. And uh, I'll just double check, yeah, I got that there. And I can lock that off. And uh, I can then produce my bend. I'll have a go at seeing if I can film this. Okay, so I can now bend that around. Thought this could happen. This bar is about to hit my tripod, so I just gotta move the camera, guys. Sorry. Oh, steady up there. Okay. And so I'll bend that around and I'll get my my 90. Okay. Um now we could set this stop as well, so that we're getting 90 degrees each time. Um, we're not gonna do that this 
for this one here, guys, just because I've got other classes that are going to need to be doing other bends as well, you're going to have to gauge the 90 yourself uh, by using a square and, and placing a square on top and just gauging it as well. Um, so you've done that, you would then undo this. And um, there's my bend. That's looking pretty close to 90. Uh, I can play around with it later in the, in the vise with a hammer and just tweak it a degree if I need to. But I'm now gonna do my next bend. Now this is, we'll see how this goes for filming. Now, what I wanna make sure is that when I do the bend, that that piece there is sitting, I might just tilt this camera a little bit. I need this piece to be sitting perfectly flat in the machine. Now, I think I'm gonna to have to move the camera just to show you, because otherwise I'm gonna have, if my fingers were the two legs, I would have one down and one up if I get it perfectly flat, they should both be the same. So I'm going to mount it up and then I'll, I'll show you. So I'm going to chuck that in. And oh, so for your write up, the machine that I'm using right now is called a bar bender. Okay, and I'm, no points for guessing how I'm measuring, that's a ruler. I'm just gauging my 15 mil. Okay, so I've got that now. And I'm gonna move the camera and show you what I'm talking about with getting, oh, camera's been in the wrong spot the whole time. There's my 15 mil that I wanted to get. That was the same as before. We now need to take notice of what's gonna happen with this one here, so. If I look down this way here, you can see it's kicking up, okay? So that means they're not going to be perfect. So I need to roll this down until it's perfectly flat. So I'm, I'm looking through the camera now, but I'm gonna take the camera away in a second and have a look. But through the camera, it looks like that is now level. Okay, or well, parallel with the bench is what I'm really looking for. And so then the bend on the other side should, they should both come out parallel. Um, I might uh, pause this recording now and then um, do the bend and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so um, you come out of the bender pretty sweet. When I lay it on a flat surface like our bench, what I'm looking for is both of the legs to be touching at the same time. I went and bent a piece of scrap and I've exaggerated what could happen to you if you don't put it into the bender and have that piece sitting parallel to the bench. Because it's not parallel and it's down, well your next bend will come out and it's gonna look like that. And you'll have a, an awful kick and rock it's very hard to correct with 12 mil bar. So make sure it's right first time. Um, if it does have a kick or a rock to it, there's a little way to, to fix that, and that's clamping in the vise and, and giving a little tap or a tweak, but we want to get it right first time. So the next thing we want to look at is, um, I want to double check these for square now. Look at that one there, it's slightly out. Okay, so you can see there's a bit of a gap up there, and I'm, the other one is perfect. Now, I'll show you how I'm going to fix that. Now, I could go back into the bender, but I, I don't want you to because you're gonna create a traffic jam at the bender as you fluff around trying to get this perfect. I'll show you this little technique Very here. simple. Clamp it in the vise, okay? And then the side that needs to go over we're just going to give that a little love tap. It's pretty hard to do whilst holding an iPad. But already I've got that to move half a mil. And uh, I'm then going to check.
check that square again. And I, I could see that I've, I've moved it over probably half a mil already um, in that direction. And I'll just check it with the square and I'll give another tap if, if it needs to. Um, and I'll sort that out, but we'll presume it's pretty good. And we'll take it over to here and uh, I'll set up another video for that. Okay, so um, to centralize this handle on my job, I've, I've cheated a little bit of it. And I, I find that, well, it's not really cheating, it's just using your, your brains. If you've got two tape measures or two rulers, you can just put them on your job and you save yourself a bit of math here. Now, I've got them both on the exact same measurement. End up being 210 for my job, but yours might be slightly different depending on how your bends went and how you went with measuring this. So, two rulers either side, once we've got the same measurement, we know that this piece is now centralised and ready for attack. Now, 